How's it going everybody? Zap here and welcome to the third installment of my Hockey Ultimate Team Update series. Uh, if you wanted to see the last two episodes I did, go ahead and check the link in the description and there will be a link to the second episode I did last week, uh, or the second installment in this series. And this week I actually made a lot of changes to my Hockey Ultimate Team. I got a new goalie, got two new uh, Team of the Week or, or Hut Live cards, so it's pretty exciting. I'm starting to really build my team up here. I'll just go ahead and show you. Uh, my first offensive line is exactly the same, same with my defensive line, uh, but I did get Nicholas Backstrom, a new goalie, my starter. Uh, now, prior to getting Backstrom, Anderson was my starter and Bernier was my backup, but uh, Bernier was a solid goalie, but Anderson just seemed to, to let in everything, that uh, every shot he faced, so I decided to put him as a backup and pick up a new goalie. I picked up An uh, Backstrom. Uh, I don't remember how much it was. It was very cheap, and it was a little under what he was going for, so I got a decent deal. I think it might have been a couple thousand or something like that. And uh, he's just a solid goalie. Now, the reason I picked him up was because I played two different people, and uh, both times I just got completely robbed countless times by Backstrom, so I figured he was probably a really good goalie. So I just decided to take a little bit of a chance on him. And like I said, he didn't go for too much, so I just picked him up for the hell of it. And he has been a rock back there uh, between the pipes. He's just been really, really solid. I suggest getting him if you don't have a lot of pucks and uh, you need a good goalie. He's definitely been really good for me. Uh, both of them fatigued. I'll fix that later, but uh, yeah, just solid goalie. Now, my second line has changed. You see right here, I got Jeff Skinner, 88 overall, left wing sniper. Now, uh, right when the team of the week came out, I had my eye on this guy, and I knew I wanted him. Just look at his three offensive stats, 89 for skating, 89 for his shot, and 90 for his hands. Just sick offensive stats, and uh, 85 for checking and 86 for defense isn't too horrible for a forward. So uh, I ended up picking him up for 56,000, which is a, a you know a pretty hefty amount of pucks uh, for me at least. Maybe not for some of you, but for me, 56k is a pretty hefty amount. But uh, I'm pretty sure I think he was worth it. I've played a few games with him, haven't played too many, and uh, he's been doing good here and there. He hasn't been absolutely amazing, uh, but not bad. I'm definitely happy with the the 56k. He was going for around 60 to 65 when I picked him up, and I think he's going for maybe right around uh, 60k now. So his price has dropped, I think, a little bit, but not too much. So if I wanted to resell him, I probably could make a couple of bucks. But I think I'll hang on to him. Uh, Spezza and Johansson, I had them on my team last week. Uh, all the defense was the same here. Now the third line, I changed it up a little bit. I put Jamie Ben on the third line. He was on the second. So I put him on the third line. I picked up Mike Ribeiro, Hut Live card. I actually picked him up through a wager match that I'm going to be posting on Friday, I believe. So I picked him up. 88 for skating, 87 for shot, and 92 for hands. This guy's got some sick mitts. He can pass it. Uh, probably one of the best playmakers on my team as far as passing goes. He's, he's actually been pretty solid for me as of late. And uh, he's only, what is he? like six, oh, six six foot so he's not too tall and that 88 skating i notice on the smaller players uh you know like jamie ben is 87 but he's six two i feel like the shorter you are i don't know he just seems fast he just seems fast just like Haglin, he's a short guy but he has speed he just seems faster than some of the other guys that have comparable uh speed but yeah so jamie ben uh ribero's been doing pretty good for me i picked up yakupov in my rare player pack i believe or it was just a gold one i don't know it was the last last video i did i picked him up and decided to put him at right wing i had danny briere there and I like Yakupov just a tiny bit more. I also picked up uh, James Wisniewski. Now, I bought him for like 700 pucks for buy now, and he's been really solid for me. 700 pucks is not bad for an offensive defenseman. He has mid-80s all around the place. Uh, 85 for skating, 84 shot, 86 hands, 85 checking, 83 defense. Uh, definitely not a bad... Bad little player. I mean, 700 pucks, I just... I can't complain about that. I bought contracts for more than that, so... I decided to pick him up. He's been pretty solid for me, actually. And fourth line is still the Columbus line. And I actually have a, a trade in the works right now to potentially get possibly a new first line center. Uh, 89. He's gonna. He's an 89 overall Hut Live card. Uh, very good player. So hopefully I can I can make a deal with this guy on Twitter. And I'll definitely show you guys that player next week in the update. But uh, as always, I'm Zab. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit the like button and subscribe for much, much more. Tomorrow, or wait, no, no, no. Wednesday, is, I think, is the 18th, if I am correct. Uh, 18th of December. Let me just check really quick. I want to make sure it is. 
Uh, yes, it is. Wednesday is the 18th, so I'm going to be posting the giveaway entry where I'm giving away Patrice Bergeron, and then Friday is going to be a wager match with a subscriber, which uh, maybe is how I got this Ribeiro. Just give you a little bit of, uh, of a sneak peek. So look forward to that, guys. But like I said, as always, I'm Zav, and I'll see you next time.